Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate averages using LibreOffice Calc. So let's go ahead and open up LibreOffice Calc. And here we can see the spreadsheet. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And basically this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly calculate averages. So let's say we've got some costs down this side here. Let's say, uh, let's do the days of the month first, right? So we do month. And then we do cost. And in here we're going to do January. And we use series filling to fill in the spreadsheet all the way up until December. And then for each one of these months, we want an associated cost. So let's say uh, we're going to click here, right click, format cell. So we're just going to format this to currency value. And then we'll put in some random figures in here. So the goal is to work out what is the average cost across the whole 12 months. What did we spend on average on each month based on these costs here? So first of all, we need to calculate um, the total cost. So we can do that using our sum function. So we'll click on this blank cell down here and we use the sum function here. And that will highlight in blue around the edge for what values it's got to calculate. And then we we'll hit enter key and that gives us our grand total. Now we know that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 months in the year and there's 12 rows of data. So we want to take this value and then divide it by 12. So what we can do here is say equals. So we hit the equals key on this cell and we click on this cell here. So equals B14 and then we put a backslash 12. So e B14 cell, this cell divided by 12 and it will give us our average. So this is now the average of those 12 months. So that's how you can use LibreOffice Calc to calculate averages quite quickly and quite simply. So we could do another quick example. Let's say uh, we just got numbers here this time. So we've got just some numbers. Uh, we'll make this one a bit smaller. And we're gonna calculate the average of all of these numbers. So we can just select and highlight all of these and select this blank cell down here. We can sum it and it's 258. So then to calculate the average of these, we would do equals, click on this cell, E14 divided by 12 again. And then we get the average is 12.5 for those 12 values there. That's the average value. Okay, so I hope you find this tutorial useful. I use it quite a lot in my business when I wanna calculate what my average costs were let's say for staff wages, for example, or imagine if you was putting your fuel bill in here for your car, you could calculate what is the average cost you're spending on each month or over a period of 12 months, what's the average cost for your fuel bill per month? Because imagine this will be the average cost per month if these were all your fuel costs. So you can use this logic um, within your business or on personal. So if you were to calculate the average cost of your, your um gas, electric and water bill, if you combine all of those three together and then put that into here, then you could do that. In fact, let's do an example. Let's do one more example. So we'll copy this month column. We'll select this all and press Control C to copy. Uh, we'll come down to here and we'll paste it. So we've got our months here, right? So let's try one more example. Let's say electric, gas and water. So let's say that you're living at your house and you want to calculate the electric, gas and water and you want to calculate the average of what those will be. So let's put some values in here. Um, normally, you know, your, your, let's say the electric bill is around 25. And maybe in winter it's a bit higher. And then we do the gas. So we can just copy this electric, paste it here and paste it here then we delete the values. The only reason we did that is because these cells now will inherit the um, currency value. And the gas, let's say, that's our gas bill and then our water bill every month is around 20 pounds. Most months it will be 20, maybe in the summertime. Uh, that will increase a bit. 
So now we've got all of these values. First thing we want to do is calculate what is the grand total of all of these values. So we can just highlight these bottom three cells here and then we can do the auto sum and we can make them bold and that will give us the grand total for each one of these. Then we can work out the average for each one of these. So we can do, um, we can click here and we can do sum and it's going to be the sum of this cell just this cell on its own so we need to change this to B31 so we're going to say uh, let's actually undo that we can just type this in so equals B31 which is this cell here this is column B and this is row 31 so this will be B31 divided by 12 and that will give us our average cost for electric over that given period then to make the average cost for gas and water all we need to do is click in this bottom corner here, left click, and hold down the mouse button and drag across. And that will copy the formula across, but it'll apply it to this column. So you can see up here, C31. Um, so this is C, C column, and then it will be D31. So this is the D column. Now we can do one other calculation. So these are the averages for um, these specific columns, right? So this is the average for electric, average for gas, and average for water. But what if we wanted to combine all of those costs into one grand total and then do the average that way? So what we can do is click here, and we can type in equals, and then we'll highlight these three cells here, and then hit the enter key. So let's see what's going on here. Something went wrong. Let's delete that. So we can click here, okay, let's just undo this. So we've got, we need to type something in wrong here. So let's try that again, equals, and then we'll highlight, okay, let's do it this way. So we can click here and drag across and then hit the sum tool. And that will just give us our grand total, 55, 60, 70, 80, 100. So that will give us the 100 value, that's another way to do it. Then we can just drag all the way down to here and then that will give us the value for each row right and then we can click here and then click the sum tool and then we want to select this section here so we use the left mouse click and click the top here and then that will give us an error which is interesting let's try and fix that let's try that one more time so sometimes when you're using the sum tool, the software doesn't know quite if you want to work it out on the row or the height. So another way to do this is to click this cell here, drag all the way up, and then highlight this information. And make sure you highlight this blank cell here, then use the sum tool. And that will always give you the correct value, right? So now we've got a value for each one of the months, and that's our grand totals for each one of the months going across. Now we've got the grand total for the year. And now we want to work out the average cost per month for gas, water, and electric all together. So we can just type in equals this cell, E31, divided by 12. It's 127. So what information do we see here? Uh, we can see electric. We can see the grand total of what we spent on electricity. And we can see the average cost of electric per month. We can see the gas. And we can see the grand total here. And then we can see underneath the average we spent on gas per month. Then we can see the water, the total cost of the water bill, and the average we spent per month on water. Then we can see all three of these added together for each month. So in January, we spent on gas, water, and electric £100. Same in February, March. But in April, we spent a little bit more, 110 130 and so forth. Then we can get a grand total of how much did we spend on gas, water, and electric at the end of the year. So we spent £1,530 in total. Then we take this value and divide it by the number of months, 12, to give us our average here. So we spent £127.50 each month on average on gas, water and electric. So hopefully that will make sense. I know there's a few little bugs in there, little um, errors, but we managed to fix them quite quickly. Okay, so that's pretty much how you can go about calculating averages. There's a few different examples here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.